Right, so today's video is one requested by one of you guys in the comment section. Why does Britain own Gibraltar? I have absolutely no clue on this one, so it's going to be really fun to watch. Let's get straight into this. It's I'm looking forward to it. To the lands of five countries, Andorra and France in the north, Portugal in the west, with Spain dominating the rest. Well, most of the rest, since country number five, which sits in this tiny area in the south, is the United Kingdom. This Wait, territory what? is called Gibraltar, and despite numerous wars Wait, between I didn't the United know and Spain, I actually Britain didn't know where it was, I'm not gonna lie. Which raised in despite new area Wait, let's go back. Wait, so in Spain, we just own a country right here? The south is the United <laughs> Kingdom. This <laughs> territory <laughs> is called Gibraltar, and despite numerous wars between the United Kingdom and Spain, Britain still holds the territory. What? Which raises <laughs> the obvious question, why? Why does Britain own Gibraltar? So the first part okay. of this question is how did Britain get a hold of Gibraltar in the first place? Well the answer to that is simple. In the year 1700 the King of Spain died. Now normally a king dying wouldn't be a problem but this king Charles II didn't have any kids which of course meant succession crisis. Right. Charles chose Philippe of the House of Bourbon and grandson of Louis XIV of France to succeed him. This upset mostly everyone since it placed Spain and its gargantuan empire firmly in the French sphere of influence and so of course, war. Everyone united against Spain and France and in 1704 English and Dutch soldiers landed in Gibraltar and seized it to keep the mouth of the Mediterranean open. In 1713, in return for Britain leaving the war immediately, Spain opted to see Gibraltar to them forever. Gibraltar's original population had largely fled during the war and it was stationed by British troops and from then on acted as an important naval base whose population grew thereafter. Wait, hold on. So if you live in Gibraltar, right, you're technically living in the UK. Like, you would say that you're from England. Pretty much. Like, how would that work? How would that actually work if you lived there? After. So Britain now owned Gibraltar, but what stopped Spain from regaining it? It was a tiny stretch of land attached to the Spanish mainland, so surely it would have been simple to walk in and take it. Well, it turns out, no. It wasn't long until Spain and Britain were back at war again, and despite laying siege to Gibraltar a further two times over the next 75 years, it always held out. The largest siege came during the American War for Independence, when Britain's attention was focused on those rascals. Spain, with the help of the French, laid siege to Gibraltar for four years, hoping to starve the people out. However, the British were able to resupply Gibraltar due to the size of their navy and Spain's issues maintaining its own. As you'll know, Britain lost the war as a whole, and so when both sides sat down to negotiate, why didn't Spain use the opportunity to regain yeah. Gibraltar? One, Britain hadn't been conquered or crushed and could still fight, meaning Spain couldn't get everything it wanted, and two, it had more important land to regain, notably Florida and also Menorca, both of which it got. When all of that was over in 1783, Spain never made another military attempt to retake the rock. So that's it all settled then, right? Well, no. The Spanish government always maintained a claim to Gibraltar, much of which was down to its geographic positioning at the mouth of the Mediterranean, <laughs> and also because its continued loss was seen as a blight on Spain's national honour. For the next century and a half, though, very little changed with respect to Gibraltar. That was until 1936, when the Spanish Civil War broke out. The border was closed, mostly because of there being too many refugees trying to flee Spain, and Britain further built up Gibraltar's defences. This caused disputes with Spanish leadership, since previously there had been an agreed neutral zone between the two areas. However, Spain wasn't looking and so Britain quickly built up an airfield there which became useful when World War II broke out. Bro, this now, is Spain's mad. new leader, Francisco Franco, was clear that he wanted Gibraltar back. However, when he was offered the chance to get it back by joining the Axis in World War II with Germany, he declined. Franco said no because the positives didn't outweigh the negatives and also his country was in ruins. In the post-war world, there was a big drive towards decolonization and Gibraltar was firmly in the crosshairs of this movement. A referendum was held in Gibraltar to determine whether the people wished to be a part of Spain or remain an overseas territory of the United Kingdom. And the results were extremely close, with over 99% of people opting to remain under the control <laughs> of the United Kingdom. When Franco caught a mild case of death hey, and his regime what? came to an end, relations between Britain and Spain improved and after a series Mad. of negotiations, the border reopened. And despite the continuing dispute over the status of Gibraltar, there would be no further changes in its status, and to this day, it remains a British overseas territory. That is crazy. I hope you enjoyed this that episode. That is actually thank crazy. You for watching, a special thanks to my patrons, <laughs> James Bizanet. Ke what a good video, man. Like, technically, I could just move there, can't I? And I'm still like, you know what I mean? I, I'm pretty sure anyone from England can move to Gibraltar with no fucking issues at all. That's such a good video. I, I never knew that. I never knew that fucking uh, England owned, like, a piece of Spain technically pretty much still that's crazy really good video hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you did make sure you do leave a thumbs up make sure you do subscribe for more content and i'll see you guys in the next video